Hello, welcome back to Mixin' with Robin. I hope you guys have all been enjoying our little videos on all these recipes. I'm having fun because I'm digging way back into like 40 years ago. So this is why it's really important. My kids have asked me and my friend that's filming right now has asked me for years to make a cookbook. So hopefully by the time we're done making all these fun videos, we'll have a cookbook together. But see this paper? Like this old yellow paper? This is my recipe for these cookies. And it's like 40 years old. So you can barely see it. And I think I even wrote this with a Crayola crayon when I copied it down like 40 years ago. So I just want to share this with you today because it's super easy and super fun. We're gonna take Bisquick peanut butter, my favorite, sweetened condensed milk, sugar, vanilla. That's it. And you can choose creamy peanut butter if you don't like the chunkiness in it. Today I'm gonna use the chunky peanut butter because I like to have a little bit of chunkiness in it. So let's get started. We're gonna start with two cups. I can't even see my writing, that's how faded it is. Two cups of the Bisquick. I love Bisquick. So I don't know if you guys know this, but Bisquick can be used for a multitude of things. We made sausage balls and they were made out of the Bisquick. So there's a savory, there's a sweet, there's so many ways. It doesn't just make pancakes, okay? Just want you to know. So I need to get my one cup measuring cup because I got my three quarters cup one here and we're going to get this mixed up really quick here. Let's get our peanut butter in there first. And that way. <laughs> Thank you, sous chef. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna measure our peanut butter and I'm just gonna put all in this cup. I think that we can do it. This other cup is a three quarters cup and that is what you're gonna put your peanut butter in. But as always, mixing with Robin, we always change it up a little bit. And I usually put a little bit more peanut butter than it calls for. Just a little, just a little because I can't ever follow directions. Well, I can, but I don't like to. So, there we go. Now, now, we are going to measure. You're gonna see me measure not quite to the top because this is a one and a half cup measuring cup, okay? So we're gonna measure this out and we're gonna put two cups of Bisquick into our peanut butter. And then we're gonna mix it up and these will be, once we get this mixed up, we're gonna roll them in to balls and then we're gonna roll them in sugar. Just plain old straight up granulated sugar. If you wanna get fancy, you can use the crystal like sugar, make them a little bit prettier, but this is good. So first I like to get my peanut butter and my Bisquick mixed together. A few moments later. So we got it started. Now we're gonna add one of my favorites that if you're watching our Mixin' with Robin, you know I use a lot of cream cheese in my recipes and sweetened condensed milk. And I have a really funny story to tell you about sweetened condensed milk. So my good friend who's sitting behind the camera filming me, we were living in Texas and she wanted my macaroni and cheese recipe. So I sent her the recipe, gave her the recipe and she made it and she called me and said, why does mine taste so sweet, my macaroni and cheese? And I knew instantly she had grabbed sweetened condensed milk, not canned milk. I call it canned milk, it's called evaporated milk. But this is a good lesson on my part to make sure that people who are not used to cooking know exactly what you're talking about <laughs> because she turned her mac and cheese into a sweet, delicious mac and cheese for her kids. 
So every time I cook with sweetened condensed milk, I think of that story and it, I just died laughing. So make sure when you're sharing a recipe, people know the difference between sweetened condensed milk and evap milk. Look at that yumminess. Like I could just eat this with the spoon and you could, there's no eggs in it. And now we're gonna add just a teaspoon of vanilla to the mix here. And we're gonna get these into the oven, but first we're gonna roll them into some balls and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So we're gonna mix, mix that teaspoon of vanilla in and then we're gonna mix. Okay, here we go. Here's our granulated sugar. I cook with parchment paper a lot. You will see me using parchment paper a lot on this cooking channel. So into the sugar it goes and you just roll it around just like that and then put it onto your cookie sheet, go to the next one. I make them probably a little smaller than a golf ball, golf ball size. And you just put them out because what's gonna happen is when they come out of the oven, they're gonna kind of crack a little bit around the edges and then you're gonna choose I love the Reese's Miniature Peanut Butter Cups stuffed right in the middle. Oh my goodness, so good. Or you can choose just a solid piece of chocolate and do the Hershey Kiss. These are the best treat. Quick and easy, a recipe for kids that are wanting to bake. Young kids, you can start them off with this, super easy. So let's get them into the oven and when they come out, I'll show you what we're gonna do with them. All right, we just took our cookies out. Easy peanut butter cookies, easiest, super simple. I want you to look at all of these. So the bigger balls that we made and rolled in the sugar, I stuck the Reese's peanut butter cups in. The smaller ones, we just took little Hershey Kisses and you just kind of hold to the edge of it and stick them in. The key here is to make sure you put your chocolate in to your balls as soon as they come out of the oven while they're hot and just do it gently. Otherwise you're gonna break your cookie totally apart. But look at that cookie, yum. These are delicious, quick, easy. Took 18 to 20 minutes in the oven, keep an eye on them. Just when you see them slightly start to crack, they're done, pull them out, and then start sticking your chocolate into your cookies. You will love these. I hope you enjoy them. And again, give us a like, subscribe to Mixin with Robin, and watch all of our other videos. We have so many fun ones on there. So I hope you're enjoying this. We are, we're having a good time. So again, please make it a really good day, but remember, Every day is not gonna be a good day, but there is good in every day. So find that good and take it with you and share it and take a cookie with you and share it because they're that good.